dropping in to QF and everywhere that she's needed. And even coming to the QF to the call today, even though she's sick, uh, battling, uh, you know, major praise for battling all these things this, this month. I also want to give huge praise to Al Jean and Rob, who have been like my rocks, making everything easy for me. Like, uh, thank you guys so much. And Al Jean also major praise to Al Jean for booking all the stuff around ECC and for and to Rob for making the the uh, we're going to have like a scuba diving trip in Thailand. So if you're a diver, message me, live aboard Nick Johnson, other cool OGs will be there. So if you're a scuba diver, major uh, jump in and then uh, I'll save my last praise for Craddy. Uh, major praise to Craddy for all the work that she's done to build out our dev team, especially the local, the latest knowledge. Like it's been pretty incredible to see the development of the skill set of our dev team. It's been like huge, you know, Ali Reza learning solidity and Ramin being front end, back end, and all this work that's come in. And I don't know how you manage all the crazy millions of projects that that you do manage. So major praise, and I'll pass it over to Lauren. Oh boy, I want to praise Ashley, Mitch, and Griff for the awesome give backs discussion yesterday and just for always thinking of ways that we can improve as giveth and just getting super aligned on the roadmap and being honestly epic leaders. And I want to praise Almond for the incredible work that she does with the Twitter. She drafts all the comms for all the things all the time. And, um, yeah, and I want to praise William and Rob for supporting on GiveBacks Research Review. It's great to have that off-boarded from Grip a little. And I'll pass it to Mitch. Thanks. Uh, I want to praise Ian, Forest Keeper, in the crowd there, uh, for joining as the Community Growth Specialist. Um, Ian's going to be starting uh, next week. So praise to him for joining the team. And uh, my other praise would go to, um, I think, Craddy. Craddy's doing like, lots of interesting things with the dev team, training them, getting new skills, planning game nights. Uh, I mean, if you don't mind muting, same with Roberto. It's a bit disruptive. Thank you. Um, yeah, so praise to Craddy for that um for just doing all these things making the dev life so much nicer uh and lastly praise to griff for having a really nice um review call yesterday and telling me how i can improve so um that was really nice as well and i will pass it on to um kieran please I will praise one almond for helping out with the give earth X space um, and planning out just comms and, and everything for the QF rounds. It's, it's really helpful. And then also Ashley for project curation for the rounds and for just being on top of give backs and everything. Um, it's just, it's really awesome and I appreciate it. And I will pass to almond. Thanks, uh, Kieran. Um, I want to praise Lumina because uh, she's always on, on top of everything regarding Give. It. She's a, a great community ambassador. Um, so great, great vibes always from from her. I want to praise you, Kieran, for a great X space for your hosting and and for giving a great timing and a, a great pace and. Um, I want to praise Ashley for helping with all the email sending and being on top of that and being really a great uh, comms and marketing support supporter. And I'm going to pass it to Algin. Uh, I'm going to leave my breaks on Discord because I'm having a hard time to talk. I'm going to pass it for now to Nico. Thanks, Algin. Um... Yep, I'm going to give my first praise to Shane for taking care of all the contributors' needs while I was taking a time off for answering all their questions and making sure everything, everyone gets everything that they need while I was gone. And also praise to Heather for being able to handle all, all the HR-related tasks from onboarding and everything else. So a big praise to my team and also for Shell. And I'm passing it to um, Ashley. 
Thanks, Nico. Praise. I want to praise Ramin. You know, I've been wanting to have a reason, like an a ability to tell projects why their project was rejected, and he's making it possible so that we can add a reason to their email so each project will know why they got rejected for verification, and that is so cool. It's been on my wish list forever. So praise you, Ramin, for that. I want to praise El Jean for always, like, you know, having my back when it comes to DMs to people on Twitter. I just send her a message, and I feel like she, she does so much work in the background and doesn't really ever get, like, recognized for and seen for the things that she does. So major praise to you, Al Jean, for always helping me out with that. And I want to praise you for all the initiative and work to to make this recurring donations rally happen. It was really cool to see in the last round of give backs that like 21 percent of the of the value, the dollar value of eligible donations that came in on optimism were actually from recurring donations. So like that's so cool to see the data and to know that all the work was validating and and stuff like this. So those are my three praises and I will pass it over to Marcelo. Marcelo, are you uh, able to unmute? Okay, if not, then let's throw it over. Well, actually, let's throw it over to Lumina. Lumina and Vision, are you are you down to unmute and uh, give us some praise? Also a no. Okay. Uh, oh yes. Oh, you're back. No, we can hear you. Oh, it's glitching. I don't know what's wrong. Yeah, it's the first time I'm giving the give a praise. Actually, I want to praise Lauren for being constant support and uh, always answering the questions and uh, helping with the post as well. Well, Ashley did it too. I'm very happy for this. And yeah, I want to praise you all guys because I love your community. And uh, I don't know who did speak already and who didn't. Maybe I pass it to Thomas. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, no, Thomas. So let's throw it over to Craddy. Thanks, Chris. First, I want to praise Madhi uh, for coordinating on all things pairwise from tech side, talking to business, talking to QA, and also resolving as many things as he can uh, with the clarity that he has. And a lot of times, he gets things done even without involving me or any any other stakeholder. So that's the first praise. Second, I want to praise Ramin. He has been constantly pushing DAP performance fixes while working on other domains like QF and applications and uh, a number of things he has owned up, uh, including the content releases sometimes. So his parallel tasking and him working on all uh, front end back end. Uh, parts uh, of the product that is amazing. Uh, I want to praise Drift as well. Uh, he has been almost regular in all the pairwise daily meetings. He is regular in give economy calls, QF calls. Uh, almost all the products that he's involved in, he makes it a point to join it. Although he's double or triple book, but amazing time management and uh, he unlocks people the prioritization when we don't have the clarity uh, so yeah i think a lot of things to learn from him and especially the time management and just just in short he unlocks everyone so bring griff for that and lastly i think lauren uh, in recent give economy and Q, uh, qf calls i've seen her taking action almost instantly uh, we are making decisions and she's just taking actions instantly i Usually people take actions after the call and she's just right 200% uh, active uh, in what she does. And that's really inspiring. So praising Lauren. Uh, I'll pass it on to, uh, I'll pass it on to uh, Steve. Damn, damn. Um, 
Praise him, eh? So uh, I'd like to praise Griff, leading the way. It's always, I think uh, he's an inspiration to us all, you know, constantly uh, sh leading by example. And hopefully you guys can hear me. <laughs> My connection's a little dodgy. Um, and I'd like to praise um, William because William takes things that I ask him and really runs with it for the tokenomics and trying to um, help us understand give uh, the token better and what's going on and it's been really awesome to him kind of taking that over and um, yeah making it much better for us to mm -hmm. see it for ourselves and I want to praise Ahmad I think he just jumped in um, for yeah being a guide in, in the marketing space uh, for GM and yeah those are my three. Um, who hasn't gone? <clears throat> who hasn't gone? You're not going to gamble. I, I, I can pass it. I can pass it for you. Uh, let's throw it over to. How about Rob? Hey, hey everyone. Um, I want to give a praise to William um, for his support in the GiveX review. Without his help, <laughs> it will have taken longer. Uh, I will. Uh, I want to give praise to Algin for being the best partner to help grieve. He always giving me information about new tasks to be able to organize us better. So thank you so much. Um, I want to give praise to Grief also for teaching me how to review the givebacks. It is something that I find very interesting to do. Great. And do you want to try gambling to pass it, Rob? Do you... Oh, Nicola? Oh, Nicola, Nicola just drops. Uh, okay, well, let's let's I'll, I'll throw it over to Shane. Um, so first I want to praise Freshel for always empowering me and in handling um, responsibilities or tasks in the accounting side and for always trusting me to get on with them and complete them. I also want to praise Nico for answering my random questions from time to time. And lastly to Carla and Latifa for making the onboarding smooth um, last week. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to pass it to Kieran. Have you gone yet? Oh, Kieran went. Um, but I can I can throw it over to um, I, I can throw it over to William and William, you can finish us off. Uh, I, even though I'm sorry, not everyone gets to go, but we're we're out of time. We got to move on to the, the main event. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, really, thank you for that praises. It's like. Uh, and I'm crying for it. <laughs> but yeah, my praises goes for tears for Lauren. He, she has been like pretty like have, having patience with me and, and showed me the path to get things better and done better for, for all. So a big praise for her and, and praise for uh, Ashley. She has been like pretty like uh, showing me understanding the git bugs, all related with that and pushing us to, to finish the 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 give up recirculations in 62 63 we are like close to be up uh, up to date today so really good, big praise for that and i don't know i will share i split the, the the praise for for grief and 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 and, and rough because uh, they have been like showing a lot of support related with the give backs recirculation and was a pretty like new task and get on board it with the the advices and all that stuff uh, will be was very 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 important to, to to achieve that task so yeah and and that that's for me like thank you to all thank you william and thank you all for coming i'm going to share a screen and we'll get this show on the road you just experienced praise praise is our, our favorite way of uh 
starting these calls off because it's just really fun. Honestly, it's a it's a great way to uh, you know share share some insights onto random things that are happening all around the ecosystem, all around the little the Giveth Galaxy. And also, what's the craziest thing about Praise is that when you do it in Discord, it actually turns into Give Tokens. So you can go in and activate your Praise, uh, backslash activate, and then backslash Praise anyone at Discord at any time, and they will receive Give Tokens. Uh, so how cool is that? And uh, But uh, as far as announcements, uh, we had our QAC announcement, and everyone's been going really hard on X. I don't think I have any other announcements. Does anyone else have any other announcements that are that are worth bringing up that won't come up during the call? Uh, It'll oh, come yeah. up during the call. I was like the working group proposals and and season <laughs> four and all that. But yeah. It's okay. Oh, you know, um, one other announcement maybe is Retro PGF four has started and Devouch is live. I don't know if Devouch comes up during the call. But man, try it out. It's super simple, super fun. If you know any scam projects, uh, make sure to flag them. If you have any favorite projects in Retro PGF 4, uh, like Giveth, for instance, give it a little vouch. Uh, that would be super cool. Uh, service annou- uh, DAO service announcements. Uh, Jake, Heather, Ramin, Amin, Ali Reza, all taking some time off. Uh, well deserved. Um, also, if you guys have any feedback for anyone, I know there's a lot of people that are having buddy calls pretty soon. Uh, just just for me, uh, Amin, and uh, well, I'll, I don't know. There's a bunch of people uh, that are all having buddy calls and we're getting around that time. So don't be shy. Uh, take some time and fill out the contributor review work form. Also, the leadership review work form uh, for anyone who uh, takes leadership, especially. Uh, and that way, the buddy review calls can be extra juicy and have that flavor that you can bring, uh, even without having to go to the review call. And then also, if uh, you're doing a buddy review call, make sure to fill out your self review form. And uh, if there's any conflicts with anyone, help us out. Throw us a gravity support request. Gravity is here to uh, uh, stitch the the fabric, the relational fabric of our community. A stitch in time saves nine. So, you know, the sooner we know about a conflict between uh, people in our community, the sooner we can, uh, behind the scenes, ease it out. So, uh, yeah, if you see something, say something. Let's just keep our community flowing good. And Gravity is the way we do it. And with that, I'll throw it over to the QF working group. I take it it's Kieran. Yeah, I'll take this. Um, thanks, Griff. So first of all, the Give Earth round is live right now. This is our current QF round focused on environmental projects, um, anything related to the Earth. Uh, go check it out at giveth.io slash QF. Um, if there's any bugs or anything, you can report them to me or Carlos. Um, I would love to have people trying out recurring donations. Uh, those count for matching, though, if you were not aware, which is like just a super badass feature. And yeah, um, we got some awesome projects in there, some really cool initiatives. Uh, and, you know, would love for people to go check them out, support them, um, especially if they haven't received any donations yet. I always like to kind of support those ones and check out those ones. Um, I just hate to see people with, with no donations during the round. Uh, besides that, the QF Season 4 Working Group proposal is out on the forum. Uh, go give it a read. we got the three options, grow, sustain, or shrink. Uh, we'd love some feedback on that before we get into voting. And then also this QF Innovations blog post. Um, it's kind of based on a tweet thread from Griff, but it just kind of highlights uh, some of the cool things that we're doing that are really unique in the QF space. So, you know, I'd love people to go check that out. Maybe give it a few of those claps on Medium. That'd be awesome. Um, share it on Twitter if you want, but uh, yeah, go check it out. Um, we also have our quadratic funding weekly call. Um, this is new as of like a month or two ago that it's its own thing and not tied in with Give Economy, and that's on Wednesdays at twelve Eastern. Uh, so come check it out if you have something to you want to bring up related to QF. Um, it's open for anyone to pop in. So just wanted to shout that out as well. And moving on, what happened in the last month? Uh, what went well? We had the Galactic Giving Round. Um, 
we uh, ratified the results of the snapshot vote, which is cool. Uh, we paid out the funds. It was our first time officially using a new mechanism called cluster match QF. Um, we're trying to improve the, the turnaround time with that as well. It's uh, kind of reducing our, our civil analysis time and overhead, uh, which is like one of the best features of it. Um, we also had some good like late sponsors come in for this give earth round and some good momentum around it, which was awesome to see. Um, and then we, we were chosen as one of eight programs for a Arbitrum grant through this program called Think Arb. And so that will be our next round at the end of July. And yeah, that's going to be a big one. It's going to be 150 K Arbitrum, uh, which is super cool. Um, then beyond that, we have multiple opt-ins for the next QF round, which is really exciting. We're looking at base or Tyco or Kyoto. So, uh, more to come on that for August and also distribute givebacks for sponsors, which is really cool. So now there's, uh, you know, just more of an incentive to support the matching pool because you can get give, um, and that's super cool. And yeah, praise to Ashley for kind of, uh, figuring that one out and, and helping us pay that out. Um, what could have gone better? Um, we had some confusion on passport changes and kind of what was going on with the score, um, how to make it easier for people to get above the score threshold that we want to set, um, if we should change it, stuff like that. We also are implementing a new system from passport that relies on on-chain history instead of manually verifying stamps. And we were hoping to have that live before the give earth round. Uh, unfortunately it's not live yet. We're still finishing the design and everything. Um, but that will be live for the next round. And it's really cool because you can just like one click, you can verify your wallet. If you have a sufficient on-chain history, um, it's a lot less cumbersome than, uh, going and, and verifying stamps on your own. Um, and then we're trying to estimate the matching adjust or sorry, adjust the estimated matching. Um, and also we're hoping to have that done for give earth, but that wasn't quite implemented properly. There were a couple issues there. Um, and I will definitely take responsibility for that one, but we're hoping to get that like squared away and, and more accurately represent cluster match with estimated matching, um, going forward. And then the last one, um, we were kind of hoping for like 50 K or like a bigger matching pool for give earth. We, I think we still did pretty well. Um, but it would have been cool to see a few more sponsors roll in, especially after galactic giving where we had 14 sponsors, which was awesome. What's coming up next. So the give earth round is running until July 9th. Um, plenty of time to go donate, check it out. Uh, we're going to continue to, fundraise for QF in a more general sense. Um, trying to plan for our August round. We might even sneak in four rounds for this season, which would be a new record, I believe. Uh, so we're, we're looking at kind of what that would take on the op side. Um, and then the, the passport model based system I just mentioned. Uh, we also have a really cool partnership with Regen. Um, we saw a huge increase in traffic during our last QF rounds when the Regen token team announced that Giveth donations would count for Regen points. So that's a really cool kind of initiative that we're working on, trying to see how we can sort of, you know, bring people to the platform um, in like, like kind of capitalizing on the, the kind of mean coin um, hype. So. Uh, that's a cool one. Um, for KPIs and analytics, uh, for Give Earth, we've got a 40K matching pool. As of now, there's 71 projects in it. I'm hoping to get 25K in donations or more. Um, for the Thank Arb round, that's going to be a 150K matching pool. We're hoping to get 50 Arbitrum focused projects. We're growing the ecosystem or developing an Arbitrum. And would love to see uh, 50K donations or more for that round, uh, especially considering the, the big matching pool. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for QF right now. Uh, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, pass it over to Mitch, I believe. Thanks. Um, so in the DAP, well, what do we got? Uh, we've got some cool stuff for you guys to check out. Um, if you open the town hall slides, you can see the first thing here, we had a give talk with Regen. Um, that's the same one that Kieran just mentioned that we're partnering up with. So you can check that out on Spotify. Um, I had an interview with them on Twitter. Um, three people from their team came and talked with us uh, for about an hour. And it was a really great discussion. And that's on Spotify, along with a bunch of other give talks, uh, if you're interested in checking out any of that content. Um, what else? 
We also had a really, really cool podcast or podcast Twitter space with Griff and Jordy, um, two of the Give It co-founders about uh, the DAO hack and also celebrating our Polygon ZK EVM integration that went out uh, earlier this week on Monday, I believe. Um, and so that was a really, really cool space. It was about an hour and a half long um, and just two epic personalities. And yeah, I'd give that a listen on Twitter. Hopefully we can get it up on Spotify. We'll see. Um, and then the last thing that I want to talk about is the recurring donation rally. So this just started yesterday. And what we did is we looked over the last four weeks and from the previous round, we looked at the top 25 Give Power boosted projects. Um, and then we've included them for people to make recurring donations to uh, for the period of the whole summer. So basically starting yesterday until mm -hmm. August 26th, you can make recurring donations to these projects. And then on the 26th, we're going to randomly pick one of them. And whoever made the highest value of recurring donations to the project that we randomly picked is going to win some sweet prizes. Uh, Griff can see on the blog post there, we have the 25 projects. I think about five of them are in the current Give Earth QF round. So if you make recurring donations to them during the QF round, they'll also get matching funds. And you might also get a chance to win some sweet prizes um, from the contest. So. Check that out. Uh, it's going to be going on for quite a while. And uh, try out the new feature. I mean, see what you think of it. So this is happening on Optimism. There's five different tokens you can donate from. There's USDC, DAI, Give, ETH, and OP. Um, so yeah, check out the blog post. I think Ashley just threw it there in the chat. And uh, yeah, we have some calls that happen uh, during the week. Uh, we have developer daily standups uh, Monday at 8 a.m., Tuesday at 8 a.m., Thursday, Wednesday at 7:30, Thursday at 8. It kind of it's a little bit all over the place, but um, it's very early for me. <laughs> Tom's calls at 10 a.m. Mexico time every Tuesday. Uh, those happen as well. What happened so far? Let's go to the next slide. Next slide, Griff. Yeah. But so we, we, have to, we have to turn off our videos, sadly, guys. Oh, we're, so we're sad. Full. So, William, uh, Jose, uh, no more video. Thanks for showing, though. Um, yeah, so we have two new chains that we added. Um, Base and Polygon ZK EVM. That happened just in the last month, okay? So, two huge new chains on there. Uh, other thing is we finished devouch, um, and I can throw you guys the link there. So if you guys want to check out devouch, I would go here. If you have, if you've attested to your um, Gitcoin passport on Optimism, you should be able to go in there and start vouching for projects. Um, other than that, if you're an Optimism badge holder or a super delegate, uh, you should be able to also go in there and start vouching for projects. Try it out. Let us know what you think. Um, and we're excited to get this going and see if um, we can get other platforms to start adopting it, such as uh, Optimism and Gitcoin. Um, the DAP working group proposal is up, and I didn't put a link to it there, but I would give it a read. Um, as Kieran mentioned, we are going to be having our season four vote, and I'll cover this a little bit more in DAOPS, but um, take a look at the DAP proposal, see what you think about it, um, leave some comments or um, anything like that, and voting will start on July 5th. So you've got some time to read all the proposals. Uh, next thing there. Uh, that working group was under budget. You'll see that on the working group proposal, we voted $10,000 under budget. So that went well. Um, we made some really great performance upgrades. And this is kind of what Craddy mentioned in her um, praise is Ramin, Carlos, the DevOps team, probably like Amin, lots of other people were involved in this, but 
really upgrading our performance that like when we get under heavy loads like during qf or something else like people announcing random airdrops when you donate on giveth um, that we're able to handle it and the app uh, isn't crashing so lots of work went into that and it's definitely getting better and i know that there's some some more stuff ongoing we also added a new share to farcast feature so when you donate when you make a project or if you just want to share a project with your friends uh, you can go to the share button and you can post it directly to Farcaster, well, to Warpcast. Um, so that's a really cool feature. And thanks to Ketchy for building that one. Uh, really, really want to get more into Farcaster. And so this is a cool first baby step into that realm. So uh, go ahead and share projects on Farcaster. Uh, another thing, we started the endowment integration. So working with the endowment team, to bring endowment uh, organizations into Giveth, allowing people to donate to nonprofits uh, around the world and get give tokens for that as well and boost them with give power. So that's really cool. That's going to be ongoing uh, during the rest of this month and next month and maybe even August. Um, last point there, we hired a new community growth specialist and that's Ian, Forest Keeper. I think he's still here, just chilling. But uh, welcome him to the team. He's going to start onboarding next week. And uh, we're really excited to have him. What could have gone better? Um, maybe just some better time management, I think. Um, some of the, you know, the way we handle like time entries and stuff was making the DAP seem a lot more expensive to run um, than it actually was. Um, it's taking a long time to coordinate with endowment. Uh, you know, they need to give us all the project information, what tokens they, they accept and stuff like that. So it's just taking longer than I would have liked. Uh, Meet the Makers wasn't meeting our expectations. So we've discontinued the program. Uh, not a lot of action happening versus the effort. Um, our re-engagement emails, we did a re-engagement campaign. Uh, had a really bad click-through rate, um, so we're going to kind of stop and, and rethink that strategy. Uh, stats, I'll be quick. Uh, huge stats on what's left of Season 3. Uh, 467,000 donations on the platform since April 5th. Uh, huge. Donations to verified projects, 188,000. So um, compared to our previous season, that is a huge upgrade. And also our project verification team verified. I think this is over the 69, but it's actually probably higher than that. That's what I got on on Tuesday when I was filling out these slides. So over 69 projects verified since April 5th. So really, really great work. And the season's still not over. Um, what's coming up next? Um, again, the recurring donation rally is continuing through until August. 26. There we go. Uh, continuing the endowment integration, we're going to work on taking that devouch thing that I just talked about and bringing it into the Giveth verification system. And uh, I'll probably talk a little bit more about that the next town hall, but we're going to work on it. Uh, another give talk. We got one that we want to plan for uh, sometime maybe late July. And we should figure out who we're going to talk to. You know, we're thinking maybe we, we hit up Glow Dollar or maybe try and talk to someone from base or whoever else. Like, we're open to some cool ideas. So who do you think we should interview for the next Give Talk? Um, uh, we're going to discover the scope of DAP in Season 4. So the outcome of the voting results will influence what actually we um, get the mandate to build. So that's going to be coming from a result of the vote probably sometime around um, July 12th. We'll know that. Uh, adding more stats to the stats.giveth.io, being able to track our features mm -hmm. such as recurring donations, uh, multi-sig feature, being able to track like donation volume filtered by specific chains. So lots of different stuff that I want to add in there. Um, and so that work is undergoing. And I think Ali and uh mohammed and carlos and ramin are all working on that together but ali is is taking the lead on fixing up our our analytics and that's it i hope you enjoyed my meme i found it on the internet and i'll pass it on to uh give economy
Thank you, Mitch. Give Economy Working Group. Yeah, we meet on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. If you didn't catch our last Give Essentials, this was a really good call where we talked about like the long term roadmap. For like, Give I think talking about these bigger terms um, and, you know, basically just kind of like our whole why Give is important and like where we're going with this, ultimately trying to change the world by empowering nonprofits with Web3 tech. Uh, you can go back to the first slide, Griff. Sorry, I, I'm only looking at what you're looking at. Um, we also, oh yeah, the other CTA I have here is um, we updated this link tree. So this is all the best places that you can get Give tokens from. It shows where to get Give on all of the chains that Give is available on. And um, and if you notice like Steve's account and Jake and Griff and my account, it's really cool if you can actually like put this as the link that you have in your bio. If you don't have another link that you put in there, it's great to kind of put give in your bio and a link to this link tree because it really helps to direct people and like on like where they could even get give, um, which is a critical part of our roadmap. Um, the next CTA. Oh, yeah. Griff has a good example there. <laughs> Thanks, Griff. Um, the next. Oh, yeah. You know, Mitch uh, has been talking a lot about the working group proposals and we got ours up too. We got the Give Economy Season 4 working group proposal. So you can see all the stuff that we did last season, season three, all of our big lofty plans for season four. Um, there's there's really a lot in here. Some things that I think are particularly cool is like we're talking about actually changing the way that give backs works, as well as thinking about ways that we can actually, as a DAO, start buying give back from the market. So there's like embedded positive price pressure on the give token that's just like in our DAO mechanics. So some exciting things that are on here in the in the working group proposal for next season. Um, yeah, lots of cool stuff there. And then and then the last I have one more CTA that I also can't remember. Yeah, boost projects in the Give Earth round. So yeah, Kieran already mentioned the Give Earth round is happening now. But one CTA I would just love to share is like boost projects i was like doing a bunch of boosting the other day and it really affects the projects and like which ones are seen some of the projects in this round don't have anyone backing them anyone boosting them so then they're like way at the bottom of that scroll but if you get in there and you just click that little rocket ship you got some you could stake some give in the gift farm if you don't already or already have it um and then get those projects seen more high up on that list um yeah you can roll to the next slide Um, yeah, what happened in June? So two exciting things happened in June around liquidity. We got a new Give USD Glow $10,000 LP that's like shared with uh, the Glow Dollar team um, built on Optimism. That's a Unity 2. And then we set up the first half of our Give Matic LP. Um, this is eventually going to be on Polygon ZK EVM, but for now it's on Mainnet uh, while, while we're just kind of like building the Give Economy on Polygon ZK EVM. So we got a 50k Give Matic on uh, Uni V3 pool on Mainnet Uni V3. So I'm excited about all the increases in Give liquidity. Um, we're also moving Givebacks. Well, we have moved slash we are moving Givebacks over to Optimism. So whereas before, if you donated on all the change but Optimism, you get Givebacks on Gnosis. Now, if you donate on all the chains but gnosis you'll get give backs on optimism and then if you donate on gnosis you'll get give backs on gnosis so we kind of did a little bit of a flip of the give backs program so that we can start kind of migrating people over to op um which is just like kind of supporting a lot of our goals and has also just like a lot more activity and more engagement so that's where we're going to have the primary place for the gift token um we also onboarded as you heard in all the praises we onboarded william and rob to be doing give backs recirculation checks which is like a huge win for the give economy working group because because um, we always depend on Griff to do it, and everyone depends on Griff to do a lot of things, so it gets challenging, and we're always fighting. Um, and then um, the Give Economy Dune dashboard is nearing completion. It's like, you know, I feel like it's so close. It's now at um, Give Economy slash Give Economy. It's not like in a means personal account anymore, and there's just like tons of interesting stats in here. This isn't like, like super, this is like a little bit of alpha, so don't share this on Twitter yet, because there's still some tweaks that we need to do, but it shows a lot of interesting stats around like lock up rates for gift tokens who's locking how many gift tokens for how long what's the circulating supply on each of the chains how much is held by the dow and basically is super duper cool and i mean it's going to be my favorite place to hang out all the time whenever i want to think about anything for the give economy because it has all the information um the next awesome achievement that we made 
um, is that we've made some really great progress on the trading bots for L Bank. And related to that, we are um, starting to work with a market maker. So now we're going to actually be having some like, professional market making happening for the give token, which is super, super exciting. And um, like somehow related to that, too, we are like, you know, super close from finishing setting up our um, Gnosis to Optimism bridge um, with like a bunch of give liquidity in there. And that's through Connects and Everclear. So there's no link there yet because we're not sharing the link yet, but it'll be ready like really, really soon. So all these like we made huge progress on these things that like we weren't making much progress on for a while just in the last month. So super great what went well. Um, the last what went well is that we selected a marketing agency that we want to work with to get support on give economy um, marketing. So uh, this is Myosin. Um, they, they're an awesome, an awesome project. They had a really great proposal and we're like really, really aligned with how we want to be doing things with the give economy and, and basically we're just like really interested in what is our long-term roadmap and we're like really buying into it so that's why we chose myosin there's a proposal here on the forum that's basically just like talking about the funds request for that and how we propose to pay it's kind of like you know related here to the working group budget season time um but yeah i'm really excited to start working with them <laughs> yeah and then what could have gone better in june um yeah, we've been trying to get listed on Binance. There was this call to action for um, they Binance was like opening their doors to just like projects with credibility and da da da. And it's like we got the application like already, but they need this legal document that we've been kind of blocked on. And I mean, we almost we we have it almost now. And I'm, but I'm just like, oh no, I wish we were able to submit this like a month ago. Um, so I hope we don't miss our opportunity there. Um, we've also been a little bit slow going on improving uh, the Give Token logos and other information on Dex. It sort of got like deprioritized, semi forgotten, but we didn't really make a lot of progress. Um, and then we had a few bugs on the Give Power projected ranks. Um, give Power real ranks were, were correct, but the Give Power projected ranks had some like weird, funky bugs that like just kind of like emerged. Could have gone better. Um, give token price didn't do awesome last month, but you know, neither did ETH. We're in a little bit of like a downturn in the market here. And usually with like smaller market cap currencies, you know, when ETH dumps, they dump more when ETH pumps, they pump more. So I'm not super concerned with this, but just like, you know, it's also kind of like a what could have gone better. We've got like there that give compared to ETH, ETH price chart and got the, you know, the one month, the one month times. And then you can kind of go, you can go to the next slide. We'll talk about the next month. Um, yeah. Some exciting things. I, I mentioned this already before, but we're talking about changing the way that we do give backs, maybe making it into a like a lottery. So it's not like for every donation, but like basically something that has like better marketing and more opportunity for hype building and just like um yeah, and we're and so that's something that we're gonna be really talking a lot about the next couple of weeks. Um and talking about give buybacks. So it's like how can we buy get buy back from the market? Um we're also building an arbitrage bot to make sure the prices is, is stabilized across chains. We're onboarding the marketing agency and we are moving give economy to polygon zk evm the donation integration as mitch mentioned is already completed and so the next step is to move our contracts over there we're gonna have give power staking we're gonna have give backs on polygon and oh super super exciting so i'm basically like this guy playing uno over here and got the dump give or draw 25 cards i'm just like stacked in my hand because give economy is rampant up and uh, I will pass it now on to the fundraising working group. I think Griff is taking it. Yes, I am. It was Jake's birthday this week, uh, so I'm just going to take it on for him. Although I probably should have had Marcelo take it on because I was like, hey, Marcelo, what happened? I had to have a call with him to even fill this slide out. But we have our weekly calls on Monday at 10 a.m. Uh, in, in Toronto time, at least. Uh, so, and we share those calls with GM, GM, and we have like a nice uh, overview of of all the grants that are happening in the ecosystem. Uh, so, what's happened since our last evening? Well, there was a hair raising fight to make it into Retro PGF four. We actually didn't have uh, all the we didn't have four hundred and twenty unique addresses, but because of uh, the uh, because we had also no spam addresses, basically all the addresses were trusted. They actually uh, and really nice addresses. They actually let us in anyway. So major praise to Optimism and Carl, especially for fighting for us uh, to get us in there. And, uh, uh, you know, like also not not punishing us for not trying to, you know, screw with our metrics with with bots or something. Which I'm sure lots of people did and, and uh, they found that. 
Anyway, uh, we secured seven Q forcers for the Give Earth round. Let's see. I think it's right here. One of these. Yeah. So major, uh, major. We got the public nouns grant up. Uh, major props to uh, to Kieran for helping us close the Climate Collective Program uh, (CCN). Uh, we have Solo PG. Uh, Solo uh, is also sponsoring, which is awesome. And we had to do some last minute, um, you know, uh, due diligence with them to, before they would tweet us. So we submitted our Swiss entity uh, to them. So praise to Mitch for helping us get that through. Uh, and also we got major sponsorship from Mask uh, and and Glow Dollar and and that which was awesome. We also had Octant funds that we throw in here. And uh, just just a couple of days ago, Ma Earth YOLO'd into a sponsorship that will kick this up from 37k to 40k. And we made a unique sponsorship with Regen Token. Uh, you know, one of the things that was probably the biggest surprise as we're doing Givebacks Review was that we had over 15,000 donations because of the Regen Token. Isn't that crazy? The Regen Token airdrop was just nuts for us. So uh, we gave them actually a free sponsorship so, uh, for them to do it again. Uh, although I don't think they've announced it yet. So uh, details coming soon. But I'll, I'll tell you, y you want to donate with USD Glow on Cello. This is this is it. Oh, did they announce it? Uh, nice. Nice. Thank you, Lumina. They did announce it. Cool. So. So, yeah, uh, also, we've been just following up with our uh, an, uh, devouch requirements to update the charmverse and submit milestones uh oops we have glow dollar uh public goods funding split so they had like a little vote on twitter of like where the money should go from the uh, glow dollar interest and it was like gitcoin uh protocol guild or giveth each one will get 25 percent. who gets the extra 25 percent? and we got it so that was pretty cool and also Jake attended Block Split uh, along with a few other GMGM GM people to promote Giveth at the booth. And we got this huge UNICEF proposal uh, out, which was a major undertaking, major praise to Ahmad and Pedro who really led it. It's mostly uh, it's mostly general magic work, but uh, the fundraising team helped out. It was kind of a everyone help, please. Uh, last call. Also, other big wins. Uh, we got a Kyoto sponsorship of two QF rounds for a total of 130k, which is amazing. Also, uh, and major props to Kieran for closing the Thank Arb round. He mentioned it too, but 150k Arb matching pool and 5k in Arb signup incentives, which is pretty insane. And another big win was the Cello Retro PGF zero round we got five thousand four hundred thirty three dollars and fifty five cents worth of cello so that was super cool uh what could have gone better we lost the ripple proposal um but that's okay because i got a surprise in the next slide uh and uh also the octant rules changed and this is kind of goofy but like you know we've we've made it into octant and we've done well in octant every round and they changed the rules to say that basically if you're a pass through grant giving org you can't use octants like main thing and then they and they directed us to a different different community grants program and then they actually said they and so we applied and we made a really nice application for them to sponsor a qf round and that we'd use glm tokens in the matching pool and they rejected the application, and I don't think we even got word on exactly why. So, but we'll get that follow up soon and and understand uh, why uh, why they didn't want us to uh, to support us this time. But um, but they've given us a lot of support, so like major praise to Octon anyway. You know, uh, it's it's good that they can spread the love. What's coming up this month? Well, probably the biggest thing, the biggest news is today I just saw on the Telegram that actually we're going to integrate Stellar. Uh, Stellar is an OG blockchain. And the coolest thing about the Stellar integration is that it will also make it easy for us to integrate other older currencies like Bitcoin. Uh, so this is a uh, pretty huge forgiveth to be able to 
uh, work with Stellar. Stellar has an amazing uh, history of of donations in the space and supporting UNICEF and other large nonprofits, and uh, we're very lucky to be partnering with them at, and 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 adding value into the Stellar ecosystem. They're very aligned, so that's super cool. Also, we're going to ETHCC. Uh, we're hoping to get lots of new sponsors and lots of support there. The Regen token incentives are going to be huge, uh, so I can't wait to see how that turns out. Uh, also, we have Tyco. We're very close to closing uh, a, a deal with Tyco for two QF rounds worth a total of 80k in donations, and uh, so that's really awesome. And then we have Metis and Metapool and several other grants that we're working on. We're also uh, these these ones are already out. Metis and Metapool. Metis is an L2 chain. Metapool would be a QF, another QF round that we we already sponsored with them. Um, but uh, also, we're, we have some grants that we're working on. Major praise to Marcelo for putting all this work in. But we got grants going for uh, BNB, Base, Polkadot, Arbitrum Foundation, Litecoin, and many more like, uh, like ICP. Oops. <laughs> uh, Internet uh, Computer Protocol error. Uh, yeah. Anyway, there's a, whole bunch of, there's a whole bunch of grants that we have in our sites this month to make progress on. So... Uh, we'll see how it goes. And then uh, ECC, uh, you know, this is probably the biggest goal here is go to ECC, get some new sponsors, meet some other projects, figure out the L2 integration opportunities uh, that are there and uh, really, really make progress towards it. So there's uh, no shortage of L2s to apply for. Uh, so we're and we're. Mitch, do you want to take it? Yeah, sure. Your audio cut out and maybe it was just me, but um, let's do it. I'm still just like in shock from the stellar thing. I'm like, OK, what do I do now? <laughs> um, anyway, um, yeah, so some CTAs for people here. Any contributors listening? Uh, we've got the um, Sorry, I'm distracted by the comments now. Uh, get gift token equity in your compensation payments. So, you know, the next payroll thing's coming up in about a week. So um, if you are a Giveth contributor, if you're not a Giveth contributor, please don't uh, waste your time and fill this out. I saw some of you filling it out um, and it's just kind of distracted. So don't do that. If you work for Giveth, uh, fill out this form. If you don't work for Giveth, please don't fill out this form. Uh, <laughs> Finalize your time reports in Clockify by July 1st, or else the Filipino team will come after you um, in your sleep. Just kidding, they won't. But make sure you do it on time. Uh, makes everyone get paid a lot faster, so make sure you finalize your time reports in Clockify by July 1st. Finalize your time reports by July 1st. <laughs> Check out our working group proposal for season four. Um, so this one is up here. And again, similar to the other ones, you could check out how we did in season three. And also some things we'd like to do in season four. You can check out our spending. You can see how much we'd like to spend. Um, and also a really cool thing uh, in this proposal is if there's a section called DAO quality score. Mm -hmm. And we started doing this um, kind of inspired by the Dell health check we did um, in the previous season. I think that was this season. But anyway, we take all of the quantitative data that you all do in your self-review forms before you have your buddy call. And we're trying to give it a score and see like, okay, how's the DAO doing? How do people like working here? You know, things like that. And so we're adding this new metric into DAO ops and we're gonna continue to track it on a quarterly basis. So uh, I'm excited about that. And we'll talk about that a little bit in what we're planning to do next in DAOOps. Um, but let's look at what happened last month. Again, uh, the DAOOps working group proposal is up. Uh, so that's what Griff just shared on the screen. The leadership feedback form collection has completed. Um, so that's kind of been a long process. And I think most contributors are already aware of that. Um, 
I made this, well, we, I made this really cool voting simulator. And I don't know if you can open that up there, Griff. Can I get it? So this has all of the current season four data. And I made this with the intention of letting people like see what our budget would theoretically look like if, you know, we, we chose certain scopes. Uh, so, you know, maybe QF goes grow, give economy goes sustain, et cetera, et cetera. And then it kind of puts all the budget together and sees how much we would spend in total and lets us know if we're over the, the total Dow budget and even recommends uh, what weight you should give it when you're using the, the weighted voting and snapshot. So, and then on the bottom part, there is the cool thing is like it actually goes and fetches the information from the forum post and shows you what the deliverables and budget would be based on the one that you select. So if you change, you know, QF to grow, it'll actually update in the spreadsheet and you'll be able to uh, read the new. Let's see if it'll load there. Yeah. So you'll be able to check out, OK, what does that actually mean for that working group? And you'll just be able to get a quick overview of all of the proposals together um, to help you decide and make your voting experience a little bit better. So that's there. Play around with it. Don't wreck it. I'm trusting you guys. There's edit access, so don't wreck it. I also made a copy. Don't worry. <laughs> but yeah, um, what could have gone better? Uh, we wanted to get an on-chain accounting tool, uh, but it's kind of expensive. And so we're kind of debating like the cost benefit of, you know, purchasing a subscription to an on-chain tool to help us get better accounting. Uh, we applied for a business credit card from Cypher and we got rejected um, because, uh, I don't know, some weird like we need some sort of like stakeholder business structure thing. I don't know. So we'll figure it out. But we got rejected from that kind of bummer. Uh, we need to replace some members on our Swiss association. Uh, Jake and Ahmad had to step out because of some restrictions on U.S. citizens. So we need to replace those members and it's kind of slow. Uh, so that's what could have gone better. What's coming up next? We are going to do our second equity distribution. I already mentioned that. Uh, so that's coming up with the next payroll. Uh, voting on Dow Ops Working Group. Will praise come back? Uh, right now you're dishing praise, uh, but the Dow voted to not distribute rewards uh, because they chose to shrink Dow Ops. And so we'll see what happens. Maybe praise rewards will make a comeback this season. We'll see how the voting goes. Leadership review process. Uh, we're doing the feedback forms and probably before the next town hall, we'll be scheduling one on ones with leaders. Um, and we're upgrading our quantitative answers on the self review form to improve that Dow quality score that I just mentioned uh, on the Dow Ops uh, metrics. So that's it for the Dow Ops uh, section. And I guess pass it to Griff I know we're over time. Yeah, that's it for the call. We, we had so much going on this month. Uh, we went over time, but I do want to encourage, normally we do Q&A at the end of this. I want to encourage you guys to just message in the community chat if you have some questions, like John Kin has some questions. And I want to encourage the leaders that gave presentations to stay and answer questions in the chat or just check out the chat uh, at the end uh, so to make sure that everyone gets feels heard and, uh, you know, can get their updates. Thank you all for another great call. Wait, another wait, great wait, call. wait, wait, oh, wait, yeah. wait, wait. There's a meme yeah. party now, too. So before you all roll out, you could just stay in this channel. And um, I think Kieran's going to be here and I'm going to hang out. I don't know how good I'm going to be making it memes right now. But there's a meme party to make QF memes, give economy memes. And we're just going to hang out and have a good time. And also, like, if you just have questions, we could chat while making memes. But so stick around for the party if you can. Um, back to you, Griff. Sorry. Meme party. Meme devouch. Meme devouch. Uh, give Devouch some memes too. Uh, thank you all for another uh, great town hall, and we'll see you at the next. And stay for the meme party. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Who, who's hosting the meme party? Who's got?